Let's take a moment to fill out a color swatch of the Arteza Premium 48 pencil set. This is a small, budget-friendly coloring pencil set. So far, I've only used this coloring pencil set on two coloring pages that was printed on printer paper. And I'll leave those videos in the description below if you want to see how these pencils turned out on those pages. I figured since I didn't have a color swatch for this set, I'd take you along and share my thoughts about the colors. I also have a new case that I'm going to put them in today. Quick check on the barrels. The barrels are not sealed. It's got Arteza here. It says the premium here. And then really nice large text. So let's do a swatch with these pencils. Yeah, these feel so great on thinner paper like this. This type of printer paper is very smooth, so it kind of makes sense. Lemon yellow, it's like a marker how beautiful this works on this paper. Plum pur purple, plum purple, plum purple. Million. I'm all over the place today. <laughs> I, uh, I wanted to do this swatch and it's just super busy so I don't even want to have to organize these in colors right now because I'll be doing that when I, when I put them in an organizer. Sapphire yellow. Pumpkin orange. Wow, I love this color. What a pretty color. I'm gonna set that aside as my top five. This color too. Look at that coral. Turmeric yellow. I'm doing it really, really like hard pressure by the way. So if you see a lot of stuff coming out, because I'm a little bit of a heavy handed. I think this is some decent red. It really does seem it's difficult to find really good reds. I got my reds pretty too. Magenta. Whoa. Crimson red is very much a hot pink with a little bit of a watermelon tone to it. It's very pretty though. Punch pink. What guinea pink? What? Oh no. Am I on a hunt again? Did something fall? Am I on a hunt again? Peony pink. Oh, here you are. <laughs> you hiding? Let's get all the bright things out. These are very bright red greens, that's for sure. Moss green. Oh shoot. I did sharpen all these, by the way, before I started coloring with them, so. And yes, I have used these. 
on some pages before I did a swatch or anything. Because I was so excited to use them. I like it. Yeah, I tested these on the robotic lady. Just put them on the little swatch, the colors that I thought would go good on that page. Something blue, Mikonis, Mikonis blue. Ooh, I like that color too. Oh, I think some people call that electric blue. Indigo blue. Ultramarine. This is pretty too. Denim blue. This is a decent blue. Sage green. Look at that. Almost a military green. I like this. Aqua blue. And this purple. Oh, I've used this a lot in that paper. Lavender. Yeah, this is what we use on the robotic girl. Peacock. Look at that blue! Oh, I use this one a lot. Jungle. This is beautiful. I love this. Emerald green. It's just funny that I never made a chart for these and I've used them just a little bit. Alright, and I've got forest green. Hmm. Which one? I gotta narrow these down in, for my top five. Noir. Almost done. I'm not gonna do the white. Charcoal gray. Pressed red. Ooh, this is such a beautiful color. This is a contender for my top five in this set. Burnt Ochre. Sienna Brown. Ginger. Three more. Ooh, I like that color too. It's like, it's like a tan color. Dark Chocolate Brown. Olympic Gray. I like this color a lot too. And the last one is Cocoa Brown. That's beautiful. Look at that. That is a beautiful brown. Okay. So now that I've done this, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the case. So now I'm going to spend the time to sort these a bit. some more testing on these but I really liked the way they did on the chart. I've already done a couple pages but I haven't tested every single type of paper out there. I do know that they're fairly smooth on thinner paper so far so we'll see if that's a thing but right now color range for 48 I think it's pretty solid. I got my teals and my purples. If you're into pinks, which I typically am not, but it, I do see a couple pinks in here that I really liked. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this. It's a really nice range for a tiny set for being under 20 bucks. I think this is a decent set, but this is just my first impressions. I'll keep doing some more testing and follow up, but yeah. The container itself 
If you're traveling, it's easy to put in your bag. I really do appreciate having little rolls like this. Just makes it a little bit more tidy and easier to see all the color ranges and stuff. There we have it so far. I'm very impressed and I will have to do some more testing. I hope your day is treating you well. Thanks for watching.